Welcome to National Podcast Post Month here on the Odd Dad Out Podcast. Forgive me if you get tired of hearing me say that because, fuck, I know it's 30 days and it, I'm, I'm going to just keep going because this could be somebody's first time hearing this. I'm sorry you're not going to have a normal episode for a month. My bad. Not- yeah, you picked up a really weird spot to start listening. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, all of these are, are fully, like f- obviously tagged and it's completely different art for this. It looks weird. So... If you aren't interested in listening to a bunch of podcasters talk about podcasting and other podcasts that you should be listening to, which is kind of something I do anyway, but feel free to listen back to the other 160 episodes that have come before this. It's All okay. Of All of them. All of them. Just keep listening to those for the rest of the month until new shows start back in December. Anyway, today... It's weird saying today instead of this week. Today, I have Derek from Rolling Misadventures and Life World because he's like so many other podcasters can't just do one fucking thing. Derek, take your pick. What do you want? Where do you want to tell people you're from? <laughs> uh, I'm going to default to Life World because, or I'm sorry, I'm going to default to Rolling Misadventures because I already plug Life World on that all the time anyway. But yeah, you can uh, find me at Rolling Misadventures. We are an improvised audio fiction podcast where we sit down and play a tabletop game, bringing podcasters from your favorite shows on to basically just take a break, have fun. And then I spin that into actual highly produced audio dramas. Highly produced. Like way more than I have the temperament to do at the current time. <laughs> way more than I probably should. But it, I, I like the way that you, when you kind of made the shift from doing a little bit more game focused and like how the gameplay worked and now a little more into the story of it. I like that, that like eh, we don't need to hear the actions of the game stuff because really the focus is the story. And the what the the craziness that you guys put together, and so I kind of like when you put more of the focus on the story and and stuff like that, and a little less of the game stuff because I don't need to know the behind the scenes of it as much. Yeah, and that's something that I mean, when we first started out, we were a tabletop actual play podcast, like a critical role and things like that, and it was something that we started to slowly transition into, with me being more comfortable with. Just the show in general, because I mean, the show's only been around for a little over a year at this point. Uh, but just to let the show evolve into something that felt more natural and more enjoyable to listen to. And as we had kept playing the same game, basically people were like, yeah, I already know how this works. I can tell if a scene is, start, is ending well or if it's ending terribly. So maybe don't call out all the dice. I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. So that we did just that. We started focusing on the audio dramas. Yeah. And now it's much more, it's like, I like the improvised audio drama E of it too, because it's like, uh, the stories are great. And I do think that having the gameplay elements called out and drawn, like it kind of pulls you out of the story. And yeah. now the story just flows. And now it's just this weird, crazy, whatever the hell you guys come like you and, and Megan and Charles and, and whoever else you guys have on is just so crazy the how it like, <laughs> like I'd love to be part of the show, but I also have heard you say that sometimes recording sessions are three or four or five hours. Yeah, yeah, on average about three hours. <laughs> yeah, my wife wouldn't like my my wife wouldn't agree with that. Pulling back the curtain, we're recording this the same day as your uh sep- what the fuck month September guest of the month because I've been yeah, saying you brought me on for your jackass of the month and. <laughs> I kind of accepted. So you've talked about how long it, that takes. I blocked out two hours for this for our our other conversation. So it's like, yeah, we're not going to go for two hours of recording that. We'll have time to do the November interview as well. And yeah, we used all two hours of that. My wife does not like when I spend a lot of time with interviews, but I think at this point she's aware that I spend a lot of time on conversations with interviews. But see, my wife usually falls asleep. Like she enjoys my voice. She's one of those people. So, uh, yeah, she's just like, yeah, I'll just sit on the couch and kind of be quiet. So I don't interrupt or 
you know, give those outside sounds. And then she ends up just falling asleep listening to me. So it's win win. <laughs> it's like you are her ambient. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get into some. Uh, I've described this as when I explain it to people when I pitch this and the these spots to people is it's kind of like a survey and it's 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 one part survey and it's one part big ass recommended listening segment because I feel like this is just a great opportunity for a lot of podcasters to tell other people about other podcasts that they're into and it kind of got to start at the beginning like what was it that got you into listening to podcasts Oh, man. Um, So the main reason I started listening to podcasts was because I needed something I could download and listen to at work because I had terrible cell reception. And uh, I had started listening to the Rooster Teeth podcast because I'm a big Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter fan. And it was just them just bullshitting for, you know, an hour and a half, two hours per episode once a week. So I'd either throw it on the background of uh, YouTube when I was at home cooking dinner decided, oh, well, I could start downloading these and just kind of went from there, was downloading Rooster Teeth Podcast. I was uh, checking out Alice Isn't Dead and Night Vale, uh, Solo Monster Sounds Off, talking about wrestling, just basically anything that would spark my interest. And after a while, I started listening to more video game focused ones like uh, the Giant Bombcast and said, you know what? I could do this. Me and my friends are already having these conversations. Let's go with it. Yeah. Yeah. See, totally not where I thought, I guess because my experience is so different in the, I got into making them before I got into listening to them. So, (laughs) Oh yeah. No, I listen to way more now that I've started making it. Like I had a solid three or four. I would listen to, I think that got up to like 10 and I was like, Oh my God, I listened to so many podcasts and now I have like 40 on my playlist. (laughs) Uh, got to get those numbers up. <laughs> 40 for a podcaster. That's, that seems like low. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I try to keep it to where I don't fall behind on them. Yeah. That that's a big part of it. It's like the, no, I don't want to be behind. I want to keep be current. And that's where listening at double time started getting me. <laughs> yeah. That's why I do uh 1.2, 1.3. Yeah. If I wasn't listening at high speed, I'd be so far behind on everything. I wouldn't make it to listening to my own show. <laughs> so, yeah, you said you listen to. So you basically have like 40 that you go through fairly. It's like kind of your regular feed. Yeah. 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 40 total. Uh, I'll swap stuff in and out if I'm checking something new or if for whatever reason, I'm just, you know, not digging on a show that I was listening to. I'll drop them from my playlist and just kind of keep it to where like. Very rarely do I have more than one or two uh, episodes of a podcast that I'm trying to get current on. So those just kind of stay in the background until I get caught up with everything else. Yeah, yeah, I I hate when, especially if it's something like an audio drama or something where the previous episode matters. Unless it's like you're binging something. We're like, oh yeah, I'm two seasons behind and I'm binging my way through this. But other than that, like if you're mostly listening current and then you are behind a week, like I know I have that trouble if I'm sick and I miss a night of work because I listen, all my listening is at work. So if I'm sick, that's a night of not listening. And then I'm now behind. Yep. (laughs) Like, shit, no, I'm missing. And yeah, I took like four days of vacation in a row or something like that from work. And yeah, I was, it took me two weeks to catch up after that. Yeah. Because I've. I'm sitting on about 80 <laughs> Jesus, and again, double speed. And so I go through eight to 10, depending on length every night. And if I'm not burning through them that fast, I don't get caught up by the end of the week, but I will say I do get caught up. So usually Friday night, Saturday during work, I'm listening to late Thursday, Friday releases, Mm-hmm. I'm usually listening to, depending on if I make it out on time on Wednesdays, uh, I've got my show by Friday or Saturday, but as I can, and then most people don't drop shows on Fridays. And then I start back to work on Tuesdays and on Tuesday, I've got like 
40 shows. <laughs> yeah, you got your Saturdays, your Sundays, your Monday releases. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday. Yep. Like, yep, fall on that as well. Work. Yep. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's... Ugh. So, you kind of mentioned, but what was the first podcast you ever listened to? Like, the very oh. first one. Yeah, so the first one was the Rooster Teeth podcast, which was a video podcast at the time I started getting into it. And it's just the the folks from Rooster Teeth, the... Uh, production company behind Red versus Blue, uh, Ruby, and a million other shows because they do so much. Uh, they also have their offshoots of Achievement Hunter, uh, which is a bunch of Let's Play uh, video game videos, things like that. And so, yeah, the Rooster Teeth podcast, they would just bring on a few of their uh, kind of their main on-air talents to just sit around and bullshit and talk about current news stories and tech stuff. Yeah, and I, there's a few, like, and I, there's a couple of YouTube channels that I was listening to that I found out, oh, they do this as a podcast. And I guess for me, it was like, my, again, my podcaster brain, I'm like, they they drop like four or five videos a day on their channel. Mm -hmm. And they're like, they're news stuff. It's it's a what culture wrestling. Oh, okay, and, yeah. Yeah. And so they drop like four or five videos a day. Well all of their news stories and all of their news videos and then all that ends up getting pushed out into their podcast feed, but it's all in one feed. I'm like, I don't need three different things. And I watched the video this morning, so I don't want to listen to this, but then there's things like when they'll do their round table discussions, it's like, I want the, the 30 minute round table discussion. I need that. I want that on its own feed. I yeah. want that. I don't want the 10 minute news brief in the morning and the, the afternoon news and then all it's like, and I don't want all of the little news bite updates in the same feed as the big round table discussion thing. I feel like that needs to be broken off, but that's my, my brain. But yeah, that, but I see that, that whole, like when you're following them on like the YouTubers that do the news coverage and the industry stuff that you're into watching and like, yeah, I want to get this information, but I don't want to sit there watching a YouTube video of it all the time, or you have them. Like, that's why I like the roundtable discussion thing where it's like, no, I want to hear them talking about it and discussing it and not just reporting on it. It's like, I'll, I'll listen to that one, but I want to watch the video of the, the quick news bites because well, that's what I do when I'm drinking my coffee in the morning. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. And for listening to them, it's basically just pop culture shit, uh, talking about viral YouTube videos. Just it, it's just a normal conversation that people would have a lot like when you do your guest of the month. Exactly. It's just the the much more free flowing conversational stuff, and yeah, that's and it's that digging deeper. And it's again, it's that's what I love about podcasting is the personality of the people. It's like you don't necessarily get a lot of the personality in the straight news reporting stuff, but it's when you have those the the more conversational bits that are yeah, yeah. And I didn't realize because I don't follow the studios especially like the youtuber and the video studios it's like oh that's the thing that's what they are okay <laughs> like I'm, I'm familiar with like the red versus blue series and that stuff but i don't know who made them <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah they so, do a million things now it's insane how big they've gotten yeah there's so many of those um especially when it comes to like the video game youtuber video creators like that that like they just blew up you know, with they just made cool stuff and they got really popular and they, you know, because nerdism is no longer a dirty word. So. So. You started with with Rooster Teeth and, and, and the video gaminess and the nerdiness, but now you exist because you went from existing in the video gaming and nerdiness to, of it to now you are are in the board gamey. You're in audio drama land now, and technically you're in true crime land now, <laughs> but I'm all what, over the place. Yeah, I know you're all over the place, <laughs> Like you're hitting all the big check boxes in, in podcasting now because you went from nerd news to audio drama, and now you're doing true crime. So you're kind of going backwards, but <laughs> like I had now, to work my way up. Yeah. Now you need to have, you need to get yourself uh, some bullshit uh round table stuff like what i do now 
I was going to say a slice of life. I need that. Uh, and then I need something educational as well. Yeah. And then I think I've checked the major boxes. Yeah. You need to get yourself like an NPR style thing. <laughs> <laughs> but so with all of that you have done and all of the, the podcasting check boxes you've done, what is like your current or like your all time favorite show? Oh man, I, I hate picking one because it's like, oh, I should plug all of my friends. Um, Cause like, that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. That's, I mean, that's how I got you to listen to, uh, own a lit class was, Hey, my co my co-host does this awesome podcast. You should totally listen to. Yes. And now I'm hooked on them too. And I need to, I need to reach out to them as part of my, uh, who knows in the future when all this actually happens, I might've actually talked to them. <laughs> I'll make it as soon as we're off the call. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, as far as stuff that are like my, I always contribute to the reason I got into tabletop stuff and the way that we do our editing and our post processing and production and shit like that. Uh, it it bounces between two, and one of them is the Adventure Zone. It is the McElroy brothers from My Brother, My Brother and Me playing D and D, and that's what got me to actually stick with tabletop podcasts. Because I had tried a couple prior to it and just completely fell off. For whatever reason, their style of humor and the storytelling that they were doing was what kept me. Which is kind of how we do Rolling Misadventures is let's focus on the story, less on the mechanics. And then as far as the production goes, I'm going to cheat and take a second one and say uh, Liberty. Liberty was the one with the uh, Travis Van Groff, uh, Full and Scholar Productions. Uh, them focusing on immersive storytelling and sound design where you have those backing sound effects. That was kind of how I started to do my production. And then once I started listening to their stuff at uh, almost about the same time, it was like, oh, yeah, no, he does it way better than I ever could. But here's how I could fit it into my stuff. So, yeah, those. Uh, so Liberty <laughs> and the Adventure Zone. Those are the two my two main go to's for recommendations. Hmm. I think I've. Well, I've I've heard of Adventure Zone, and I've I've heard of uh, my brother, my brother and me, and and the McElroy brothers, and I heard that name thrown around so often, and I think it's because uh, I have so many nerdy friends like you. <laughs> oh yeah, totally, and they're so, huge. So, That's the so other many part. of like like these guys basically made a D and D podcast mainstream. Yep, and so I guess for me, it was like. Because I'm still not like the the D and D and the the actual play guy, and and again, it's it's like you said with Ono oh Lit class, the promoting your friends. The I forget why the hell I started listening to Sometimes Geek. I really do. Then again, I it's no been a while. Why anybody listened to it? Honestly, <laughs> I forget why it was that I started listening to your show. Minus like another case of. You commented on something or whatever, and you got my attention and were like, you said something nice to me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to this guy's show because apparently he doesn't think I'm that big of an asshole. And so I'm going to listen to his show. I was like, oh, nerd news. I can do video game and nerd news like because I'm a, I'm a nerd and I like video game stuff. And I like knowing the news and the behind the scenes. I like collecting the, the it, it's relatively useless information, but yeah, it's cool totally. to know stuff. And I like knowing stuff about stuff. It gives me something to talk about here sometimes. Sometimes it just means I'm a dork and I listen to and I watch a lot of YouTube wrestling reviews because I don't have time to watch wrestling and I've been getting into it more lately. Oh, yeah. I watch the pay-per-views and then listen to podcasts to figure out what the hell I'm missing week to week. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> it's like, but yeah. it's like, I don't really watch it, but I, I, you know, I watch ups and downs and I watch the new the mm -hmm. what culture news and like that's that's what i get but yeah so i was like yeah I, I check out his show and i start listening to you and we become friends and then you started rolling misadventures and i started listening to rolling misadventures and then because of that and oh no lit class and 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 ignorance was bliss and because now we have this massive fucking spider web of friends <laughs> that we all listen to <laughs> promote and, and, and everything so because and again, I've said this is a giant recommended listening month. This is, you know, the where did you come from and where are you going? To wrap it all up, 
and I got to get better at transitions, whatever. <laughs> transitions are hard. That, that was the hardest hard. thing I've ever done in podcasting was figuring out how the hell to do that. By the time I get to recording episode 30, I'll give up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you had to recommend one and no cheating on this one. Damn it. No cheating. Cause this is the, this is the big one. This is basically your one recommended listening not doing it just to pimp your friends out. If you had to recommend one podcast to someone as their first time listening, besides your oh, shit, besides your own, because that's just cheating, what would it be? Oh, man. See, because I don't want to say something you've already featured. So, like, I'm scrolling through my list. I've got so many that I've talked about. If, I it's, know. if it's one that you're like, no, this is the one I think you should start with. Go for it. Fuck. That's what I'm here for. And if I have 20 people all saying you need to start by listening to Moms and Murder, I, I'm i disowning you. But <laughs> I'm sorry. We can't be friends anymore. But no. Um, but if everybody is saying you need to start with this, that's going to be a good sign for that show. That's what I, I want to know what everybody's saying you need to listen to. Because I can say all fucking day that you need to listen to pre-recorded live. But that's because... I dig their style and they're my friends and they, they were also one of those that might be it. I might have heard your promo across PRL at one time back when they did promos because not a lot of us still do promos consistently, but I think that that might have been it because um, they did nerd news and talked about stuff like that. Huh. And I don't think I've ever really talked to them, so I'll have to see yeah, if they actually used my promo. But they, they also completely rebooted. They just uh, they killed their entire feed. They erased everything and they just restarted their they went from episode 150 to now they're at episode three. They wiped everything and were like, you know, what? we've got some copyrighted stuff back in the back catalog. Oh. We've got some stuff. And you're like, you know what? Rather than go through removing the the possible risky stuff. We're just and like, and the show has completely changed format from what it used to be. So, you know what? We're just going to relaunch the show and wipe the entire feed. And so, yeah, now they're at episode three. And they're also, I wouldn't say they're clients, but I actually, I do their post-production. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, I want my friend's shows to sound good. So I it's like, hey, I can clean this up because you guys have a lot of my kiss. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. But anyway, now that I've I've been vamping. <laughs> What is your one suggestion? All right. For first time just getting into podcasts, I would probably have to pick My Brother, My Brother, and Me. It's comedy. It's all over the place and just entertaining and very, very easy to get into. Plus, they have like 400 episodes, something like that. So you'll find something in there that you'll like. Okay. Okay. Okay, because I know they do a bajillion of them. Which, what is that one? Is that the D&D one? Is that, which is My Brother, My Brother and Me? Because I know the McElroys do a bunch of shit. So My Brother, My Brother and Me is a comedy advice show. And that is the, like, that doesn't seem like a whole lot to it, but they basically come up with an answer uh, that you are not expecting to solve whatever problem people are writing in about. So it's like, oh, I have this problem with the neighbor that has like 500 birds. It's like, okay, well, slowly you'll start cooking these birds and you'll open up a chicken restaurant. <laughs> it's it's just so fucking weird. <laughs> okay, then. I think I need to listen to this now. Yeah. I feel like I've avoided listening to this because so many people have, like, it's it's one of those, like, cereal. Or, oh, I was the same way. Like, we're like... Oh, everybody is like, this is going to be some stupid shit. They're like, I'm not going to listen to this shit. Everybody's saying it's the sword and scale and my brother and my brother and me and, and cereal and, and, and Mark Marin And it's like, ah, fuck. Everybody's saying, you know who's saying that? All of the Brenda's. <laughs> 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 Brenda told me that I need to listen to this. Fuck Brenda. So <laughs> like, ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, if you're saying it, then I have to fuck. Damn it. 81. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, just pick pick some at random. Yeah. In all honesty, like avoid the live ones if you're first starting out, because the live ones are a lot of inside jokes. 
And yeah, just pick random. I think I started listening around like 300 some, maybe a little <laughs> bit before 300. And like, I'll still go back and just pick random ones out. So it's, it's, it's really funny. I, I quite enjoy it. It's all over the place. And yeah, as far as someone who's just getting into podcast brand new, if you want to laugh, go and listen to them. Awesome. This has been fun. It's it's so weird asking questions. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> fuck prep questions, notes, jam it. So much work. But it's awesome. And thank you so much for being part of this because honestly, if it weren't for you and your resources, I probably would not. I don't even know, you know, back, you know, past Adam. I don't know how I'm coming up with 30. If if future Adam actually has 30, I'm pretty sure I can blame you for that. So. Probably. I know a lot of people for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do too, but I don't know why I don't talk to fucking anybody. <laughs> I got to start asking more people. I got to start talking to more people. But that's the point of this. This right now, 30 days of talking to people when I don't normally talk to people. And my whole bitching about, man, it's going to take me forever to talk to everybody I want to talk to if I'm doing one a month. That's why I'm doing this now. I'm I'm stupid. But one more time, Derek. Where can my listener find you? Yeah, you can find me at rollingmisadventures.com or on Twitter at our misadventures. That is the letter R, misadventures. And you can also find any of my stuff just by searching in your podcatcher, whether that's Rolling Misadventures or Life World. Pretty much wherever you're listening to this right now, you can listen to us. You just have to actually subscribe because if it comes through Adam's feed, it gets really confusing. <laughs> Yeah, you should go and find him. And again, because links will all be in the show notes for the episode for not only for Derek and Rolling Misadventures and Life World, but also for all of the podcasts that he's mentioned, which, fuck, that's going to be a lot of work. God damn, I keep <laughs> making more work for myself. But all the links to all of the things will be in the show notes. And depending on how much of this I do at odddeadoutpodcast.com. <laughs> Of course, by now, you've heard it a million times, but you can still find me on all the social medias at Odd Dad Out. Whether you just want to tell me, shut the fuck up about all the podcasts already. I'm sorry we went over this. Go listen to the other 160 something episodes. But <laughs> <laughs> until tomorrow, oddballs, thank you and good night. <laughs>